Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your weekly update in ophthalmology and eye care. This week we have a very special episode with our guest, Dr. Renzo Zaldivar, an oculofacial plastic surgeon who's going to share with us the details about tearing due to a blocked tear drain. Thanks for coming Dr. Zaldivar. Thank you for having me. No problem. Can you tell us a little bit about what patients expect when they have this tearing and what kind of problems it causes? Sure. Uh, first of all, there are many causes of tearing. What we're going to be talking about today is one specifically where the cause is due to the tear drain. The tear drain is located on the, starts in the inside corner of the eye and then drains down into the nose, almost like a funnel draining down. And typically, uh, patients can have a blockage where that junction of the wider part of the funnel goes to the more narrower part. In the office, we can decide on whether or not that's the situation in, uh, in some patients. If that is the case, often they'll need a surgical procedure to have that corrected. I know for my patients that tearing can be very annoying and mm -hmm. um, a big problem when it's constantly happening to them. Uh, so what options do they have if they do have this blockage there in the tear drain? Basically, they have to have a surgical procedure most of the time. There are essentially two types of surgical procedures you can do. One where we go from the outside to reroute the tear drain, and the other one's where we go inside the nose. Essentially what we're doing is changing that funnel from like a two-lane highway, country road if you will, into an eight-lane highway, bypassing that obstruction and making the drainage slightly higher up at the level of where most of the tears come into the tear drain. There are a couple of ways of doing it, like I mentioned. One is through the outside, one is inside the nose. Both of them have their benefits and, and we'll, we would go over those specifically. Okay, so it sounds like a lot of times the blockage is not complete, but there's just a small drain where it needs to be much wider. Exactly, exactly. And the, the, both of these surgeries are outpatient surgeries. The patients would come in, have their procedure, and go home. Some of the things that they can expect after the surgery, just like any type of surgery, a little black and blue and swollen. Um, and, and one of the things I tell everybody, regardless of the type of procedure they undergo, is immediately afterwards they will still have some tearing. And the reason is because of some swelling in the nose um, from the surgery. And that usually subsides over a couple of weeks. Okay. And then, what's the chance of it recurring on the same side or happening on the other side later? Does it happen very often? It can. It, it, it does happen, but usually on both sides. Mm -hmm. um, but the symptoms on one side may be greater than on the other. Um, the chances of it coming back is very, very small. Good. Somewhere, usually 10% or under. Okay. Well, great. Well, um, I know there's a lot of reasons that people can have tearing. This is only one of them, and we hope to cover some of the other reasons in future episodes of A State of Sight. So thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you for and, having me. Uh, uh, we hope to see you again soon. Please leave your comments if you have any questions.